and welcome to Dream Date, the game where one lucky woman gets to choose her perfect date. I'm your host, Lucky Chance. Now, let's meet our first contestant. Lucky, meet Sarah Hawkins, a social studies teacher from Ames, Iowa. Hello, Sarah, and welcome to Dream Date. Hi, Lucky. It's great to be here. Now, Sarah, before we bring out our three bachelors, why don't you tell us something about yourself? Well, I'm 28 years old. I'm interested in American history and government. I enjoy talking about politics, literature, the arts, about a lot of things, really. And what qualities do you look for in a guy? Well, I like someone who's honest and straightforward, mm -hmm. and someone who's a good conversationalist. Also, I like it when someone is more interested in other people than he is in himself. I think that's really important. Well, those are all good qualities. Is there anything you don't like in a guy? Well, I can't stand it when a guy talks about himself all the time. That's something that really bothers me. Well, Sarah, now that we know a little about you, why don't you have a seat? And let's bring out our three bachelors so you can choose your dream date. Welcome, gentlemen. It's good to have you with us. Would each of you like to say hello to Sarah? Bachelor number one. Yo, Sarah. <laughs> bachelor number two. Hi, Sarah. And bachelor number three. Hello, Sarah. Thank you, bachelors. Okay, Sarah, let's get started. Go ahead and ask your first question. And remember, you have to make your choice based on the answers you receive. Okay. Bachelor number one. If you were out with your friends and then showed up late for our first date, what excuse would you give when you arrived? <laughs> well, I'd be too embarrassed to tell you the truth, so I'd probably say that I had car trouble or got stuck in traffic or something. Okay, bachelor number two, same question. Well, it really bothers me when people lie, and I wouldn't want to start our relationship on a lie, so I would tell you the truth. And I'd hope you'd be generous enough to forgive me. Bachelor number three? Well, that's happened on other dates, as a matter of fact. I'd probably be honest with you and tell you what I tell everyone. I'm sorry, but uh, it's hard to divide my time among so many people. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, uh, bachelor number one. What's your idea of the ideal date? Well, I think... Getting together with a bunch of my friends, having a barbecue, and heading out to a football game. Yeah, that'd be a great day. Okay. Uh, bachelor number three, same question. For me, I think I would take you to my favorite nightclub where everybody knows me. And how about you, number two? What's your idea of the perfect date? Well, I'd take you out to a nice dinner. That way you could relax and enjoy the evening and we can get to know each other better. Oh. Great. Okay. Uh, bachelor number two, tell me two things about yourself, one positive and one negative. Well, let's see. I, I think I'm a pretty good friend, and people trust me. Uh, negative. I'm very direct, and that sometimes upsets people. Oh, no, that's good, number two. Uh, number three, tell me something good about yourself and something not so good. Actually, I'm pretty good at most things I do. And something not so good. I can't think of anything. <laughs> okay. Uh, bachelor number one, tell me something positive and something negative about yourself. Well, I guess I'm pretty easygoing. That's something good about me. And something bad. Well, I guess I'm not very ambitious. I mean, I don't care if I make a lot of money or save the world. I just like watching sports with my friends. Okay, Sarah. Let's have a few final questions, and then you'll have to make your choice. Okay. Uh, bachelor number one, finish this sentence. I can't stand it when... I can't stand it when people are talking when I'm watching the football game on TV. Okay. Uh, bachelor number three. Finish this sentence. I think it's disgusting when... 
I think it's disgusting when I'm at an expensive restaurant and I don't get the service I deserve. Hey, bachelor number two. It really bothers me when... It bothers me when people get mad and they get into arguments over unimportant things. I just think people should be more easygoing and treat each other better. Okay, Sarah, we're out of time. Now, I'm going to ask you to make a choice based on the answers you received. Who will that special date be with? Will it be bachelor number one? Number two, or number three. Well, they all sounded really nice, but I think I'm going to choose bachelor number two. Great. Okay. Was there any specific reason? Oh, well, like I said, they all sounded like great guys, but I liked what number two said about being late for a date and being able to trust him. I appreciate it when people are honest with me. Also, he seemed interested in doing things to please me and not just himself. Well, before we meet your dream date, let's say hello to the two men you didn't choose. Sarah, bachelor number one, is 29 years old. He's a former college football star from Pocatello, Idaho. He says he loves playing or watching almost every kind of sport. Sarah, meet Kevin Banks. Hi. Hi. <laughs> bachelor number three is a 30-year-old actor from Los Angeles. He says everyone should recognize him from his role on the soap opera, My World. Sarah, meet Chip Billings. Sarah. Chip. <laughs> you're lost. And finally, your choice, bachelor number two. He comes from your own hometown of Ames, Iowa. In his free time, he enjoys reading and surfing the internet. Sarah, meet Jim Chandler. Jim Chandler? Oh my gosh, Jim, it's you? <laughs> We went to high school together. Sarah Hawkins? I don't believe it. I thought you moved back east after graduation. Oh, I thought she was. Well, once again, one lucky woman finds her dream date. That's our show. I'm Lucky Chance, hoping all your dates are dream dates. <laughs>